just out of respect for family members, man, that are just passed. Although I would really, really. <gasps> What's up, Graveyard Shift family? That's you guys. Your boy is out here in Ballinger, Texas. And you're right. I'm just like you. I ain't know where that was either. <laughs> but I had to fly into Dallas and drive like three hours <laughs> to get here. So it's cool, man. We're here for an event, a Ghost Brothers event. We're doing some investigating. But I had to break away from that to come out here and get to shifting. Because you know, y'all are the priority, guys. <laughs> y'all are the priority. And us coming to these cemeteries and speaking to those that have not been spoken to in a long time is what we do. So y'all, let's take a look at this cemetery. It's kind of interesting. It's broken off into maybe one, two, three, four, maybe like six to eight larger sections. Uh, the dates range from 1915 is right here, 1888, 1870. So it's cool. Each plot has like a different vibe and energy to it. So I'm going to show you, uh, yeah, a couple of those real quick. And then we're going to get to a spirit box session because I got to get back to the guys in a minute. <laughs> okay. So this area seems to be... Well, section three, a tad bit overgrown and not as well kept as some of the other portions of this cemetery. So let's see who these resting people are. The Van Pelts, Alvin was born in 1858, Nancy 1860, Dan in 1883. Y'all, man, people gonna be saying that about us one day. Like, dang, she was born in 1960? Dang, he was born in 1985? They gonna be like... Dang, people gonna be saying that about us one day, y'all, when we get to our final resting spaces. They gonna be like, they were born in the 1900s. Wow, I wonder what they got to say. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Here we go. This is kind of cool. Woodman of the World Memorial. Martin Luther Gresset. Born August 6, 1888. Died March 27, 1913. That's a really cool headstone. Martin Luther. Yeah. This is kind of cool. I wonder why this is sectioned off like this. Hubbard, the Hubbard family. I hope y'all are resting well, Hubbard family. Mary C. Hubbard died June 4th, 1910 at the age of 85. Oh, Mary, you saw a full life. You live, mama. Blessings to you. Mother Mary, blessings to you. The Geisk. Geisk. Geisek. How y'all pronounce that? How would y'all pronounce that? G. G. <laughs> That's cool. But how how would y'all pronounce that last name? Y'all, I be getting so comfortable talking to y'all sometimes that I be forgetting that, like, y'all don't really, really know me like that. <laughs> and y'all are getting to know me through this, and I appreciate and love y'all for that. But I, I, I made a comment in the last video about me getting kicked out of school in the eighth grade. <laughs> I did. <laughs> but I ain't, like, stop school at that point. <laughs> I was going to a Christian private school in the eighth grade. Kept getting in a lot of trouble for whatever reason. <laughs> and they kicked me out. And my mom and them put me in private, I mean, excuse me, in public school. And yeah, I just kept on going on with my life. But I got kicked out of private school in eighth grade. But somebody was in my comments was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. Did you did you get your GED? I did, it's okay that, that, that you have no formal education. Which you're right. <laughs> but I was just like, dang, man. 
I need to like elaborate more. <laughs> just elaborate more on my stories and not just start giving y'all half the stories, man. Cause I'm gonna start telling y'all a lot of stuff. Like, like why I'm banned from Applebee's in Atlanta. <laughs> That's a story. <laughs> why I can't go back to Parks Mall in Arlington, Texas. <laughs> That's a story. <laughs> y'all, yeah, man, I love y'all. Oh man, look at these headstones. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before. This is like almost like a bed frame that's over a grave. Oh, wow. Have y'all ever seen anything like this before? That's interesting. There's no name on the stone. Whoever's resting here, I pray that you're resting well and peaceful. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, it's like a, a cross made out of two wooden posts. And is this a crown made out of barbed wire? Oh, wow. Whoever's resting here, I pray you're resting well and peaceful. I wonder what's the significance of the barbed wire crown. That's a Texas star. That's interesting. What are y'all feeling over here? Empaths, mediums. What are y'all feeling in this section? Uh, somebody must have just been buried recently. We don't do spirit box sessions with people that just out of respect for family members, man, that are just past. Although I would really, really, oh, y'all, did that thing, just, that flower just fall? Y'all, did that flower just Hold on. Y'all, I had to go back and look at that because I'm looking through the camera and I was like, did that, did that, <sighs> y'all, I'm stumbling over my words now. Did that bouquet of flowers just fall as we were talking about if it's being too soon to talk to someone who just passed away? Y'all, I just got the chills. That makes me feel like whoever's resting there wants to be acknowledged. I'm not, hold on. Hey, whoever's resting here, I pray that you're resting well, peaceful. Everybody is resting well. I'm not sure who's resting here, but it seems like you had a lot of people that cared about you. I hope that your transition is well and smooth and peaceful. I hope your body heals where you are. If there is any type of about where you are, what you're doing. I pray that someone on the other side can maybe help guide you. But please, please rest well, rest peaceful, love, respect, respect, respect. I pray you live a fulfilled life and you have a peaceful, peaceful rest.
All right. Let me tell you what's weird about that situation. Yes, the wind is blowing out here. But that vase was heavy. Like, it wasn't as light as I thought it would to be getting pushed or blown over like that. It was way heavier than I thought. I wonder if a storm has come through here recently or something. Because there's like... Oh, man, look at this. Don't you worry one bit, Miss, Miss Jean. We're going to put your placard back together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm going to get you as right as I can, Miss Jean Peterson. Put you back together as much as we could. I got your face back together. Miss Jean, I love your smile. I apologize I don't have any tape or glue. And I know that's probably not going to last long. But, you know, at least you know we care. All right, y'all know the vibe. We just walk around. See, we feel something. Peyton. Those headstones are cool. They seem to be a little bit older than the other ones. Let's go look. What does this say? Willie Walker. Walker Tate. Born April 30th, 1886. Died May 7th. 1904, uh, Peyton, budded on earth to bloom in heaven. Oh, uh, look at these three. It's a tree over here. This seems like a cool spot. What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It's your fearless shift leader. <laughs> if that didn't sound like a Power Ranger <laughs> episode opening. But yeah, y'all, I'm here in Ballinger, Texas. Um, we're doing a uh, group investigation out here in Ballinger. And they have us staying at a haunted hotel. Y'all, before we get into this, let me tell y'all something. There's different levels, I feel like, to the paranormal community. And there's nothing wrong with anybody on any level. You feel me? So you have your extreme enthusiasts, right? Those are the people that are like, what do you mean? Do I want to go stay in the house that 97 people died in and there's a dark spirit that haunts and it might murder you? Hell yeah. I am not that guy <laughs> and nothing wrong to that guy that's looking for that experience <laughs> but i am just i'm more on a scale from one to ten i'm like a three guys because i believe in this stuff wholeheartedly and i know i know what's out there <laughs> can be dark 
And I'm not ready for that. I don't want to deal with that. Like, man, I'm just a curious brother, man. I like to just ask questions, be respectful to my elders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. That's the level I am at. You feel me? In the show, we go investigate places and spaces. That's cool, too. But I feel like I'm still asking questions and kind of just navigating. I am not like I say all that to say <laughs> when you bring me out to an event, y'all, I do not want to stay in the place that I, we are investigating, y'all. <laughs> it freaks me out. It makes me paranoid. <laughs> I'm laughing, but like this is like one of those nervous laughters, guys. Like I could not sleep last night, y'all. Jawan, he told me this morning. Hey, man, say, man, I bro, it felt like somebody grabbed my leg last night. Here you go. You getting your leg grabbed at the hotel. <laughs> but yeah, hey, if you but hey, if you want to stay at a haunted hotel, I think it's called the the old. I put the title. I put the name of it right here, guys. Maybe some type of editing effect. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to go check out a haunted space, you can um, investigate. I think you can stay there. It's a cool place, but the place is definitely haunted. All right, y'all. Here we go. Any spirits that are here resting, people that are resting, souls that are still here, in whatever, I guess, state that you would be in, I pray that you're all are resting well and peaceful. My name is Daylin. Oh, wow. That was a white butterfly. Oh, oh wow. There's a lot. There's two white. Three, there's a lot of white, I don't know if they're butterflies, <laughs> but they, they knew like a moth. Wow, they're everywhere over here. Oh, wow. I, man, this cemetery feels like a lot of people, like there's a lot of signs, <laughs> I feel like in this place. Okay, so my name is Daylin, I come in peace. Forgive me for rambling. But please feel free to talk to me. I'm here to listen. I come to speak to those that have not been spoken to in a long time. This is not going to hurt you. This is how I hear you. Okay. Let's get to it. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? Can you tell me your name? No. No. Toy. Well, it's not really a toy. I can hear you through this. I would love to talk to you. What's that? What's that? This is how I talk to you. Can you tell me your name? Children. Did you say children? Are there any children around me? Three? Three children? I did see three butter, like three white butterflies. Were those three white butterflies the three children that are here? They say yes. We have. Wait. Wait. So are there three children? The three children, are you the three butterflies flying around? Y'all, y'all, my heart 
just dropped. Uh oh. Uh, y'all. To do that, you'll need to be online. That's crazy. The box said children. Then it said three. And remember, I said I saw three white butterflies flying around here. Y'all, you're not going to believe this. Look at this. This grave here says David, son of W.J. and Agnes Wingate. He was born November 24th, 1887 and died December 21st, 1888, age one year, 27 days. This grave says infant son of W.J. and A.V. Wingate. Born September 26, 1889, died October 4th, 1889. Y'all, this one says Carol Lee, daughter of W.J. and A.V. Wingate. Born February 3rd, 1891, and died June 12th, 1891. Y'all. This family had three kids that literally died as babies years. Y'all, that means W.J. and Agnes. My heart is pounding. They had David in 1887 and he passed away in 1888 then they had this baby in 1889 and then they passed away a month later in 1889 then they had another child in 1891 who passed away a few months later in 1891 wow i pray you babies i, w I know you're re resting peacefully those butterflies were you. Wow. That y'all, I ain't mean to tear up like that. Then I hate y'all had to see me like that, man. Cause I don't really get emotional like that. But I've never. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Wow. That was beautiful. So do you do you do you fly around here forever? Are you with your family now? Are you with your father, WJ, and your mother, Agnes? Were you able to watch after your family? Did each of you welcome your brother or sister when they came to the other side too? Were you waiting on the other side for your family to join you? When you pass away as a child, who watches over you on the other side? Yeah. 
I'm different. Did you have a peaceful life on the other side? Wow, that's how I could his voice to say, yeah. Is the baby still there? Can I hear your voice one more time? So, David, how old are you now? This is one. How long do you rest here until you can transition over? Are you happy? People. Well, how do you feel right now? Special. Did we make you feel special? Well, I'm glad that we can make your day a little bit better. I've had a really good time at the cemetery. Have you all enjoyed my stay here? He said benevolent and he said good. I get a lot of good vibes from here. It seems like there aren't any really bad energy in this whole cemetery. Is that true? We'll take it. It now, seems like everyone here is like one big community or one big family. Is that true? Okay. I would love for the, the three butterflies to come back. Okay. We're moving. We're moving. <laughs> Do you guys get to go wherever you want to go? A little bit. Okay, what do you want to know? I'm just kind of taking it all in. This was probably the most beautiful thing I've seen in a long time in one of these experiences. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all manifesting the way y'all did for us. Is, is everyone here at peace? Good. Would you want to be resting anywhere else? Let me ask you this. Is there anywhere in the world that you wanted to visit that you didn't get a chance to visit? This is for anyone that's listening. Uh, 
Where did you want to go that you never made it to? I'm going to go back and listen. I want to hear what you guys said. I feel like I've seen a couple people in my peripheral. Are there people watching me now? Do you mind if I come back some other time? If you want it. I like y'all, man. Y'all are y'all are cool. Let's do it. Okay. Y'all. Y'all, I didn't mean to be out here this long. I, I really thought the session would have been longer, and I apologize that it's short. But we can't account for whatever happens during these shifts. Like, I didn't know we were going to be, you know, putting together a puzzle pieces of, you know what I'm saying, of a shattered placard or finding three babies and seeing three butterflies. You know what I mean? Or I forgot all about the bouquet falling when we first got here. Y'all, this is just a different type of shift. This is just a different type of shift. I apologize to the people that want to hear more spirit boxing. <laughs> but sometimes the supernatural and the spiritual happens outside of this box. Like, what do we feel about the flower vase falling and the butterflies? Let's talk about that in the comments, y'all. Hey, man, I love y'all, man. Hey, if y'all can, share the video, man. Let's get this community as big as we can, y'all. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Dayless Brad, Graveyard Shift, clocking out.